So everyone take this amount of a moment and uh, put your mobile numbers next to your name, rename yourself with your cell phone numbers, including the country code. Super. So welcome to Entrepreneurs Connect. We are a business referral uh, group, as most of us know. We are going to go a little fast today because I see most of us are repeat. So we're going to get on it. I think maybe Madhurama is fairly new, but uh, hopefully uh, uh, Sabri has updated her with a little bit of how it goes, but you'll get it on the way. So quickly put your ref, uh, fill your introduction in the link so that we have what you do and your contact numbers are ready to get shared with everybody else by the end of our meeting. Um, this is about sharing contacts and connections. Everyone that we know in our phone book, today, those contacts belong to everyone else who attends this meeting. So all the contacts in your phone book are not yours anymore. They are all for everyone here in this room. So please liberally share, willingly give, and believe that you're going to get much more back. And that's the value system of what we do. So let's quickly get started. We start with our introduction. And then we quickly get into the details of whose contact, what is the profile of that person whose contact you want from the phone books of everyone who's attending today. Okay, so I'm going to start with my example. Hi, I'm Alifia Sura from Rooftop Sales. We are a sales coaching, sales consulting company. We help business owners to sell more and to make sure their teams are selling more and to make sure you're getting a lot more clients and customers for your business. From our own experience and also what research says, most business owners or any salespeople are talking to the same customers that they are talking to in the last three to five years. Nobody is creating new customers on a daily basis. And why so? Because they don't know how to do it. And when they try to do it, they fail miserably and they come out feeling embarrassed and, um, you know, it's very hurtful, right? So just, you know, if you know any business owners who would appreciate having more sales in their uh, business, those are the contacts you need to give me. Okay, so how it works is take the chat, put my name first, and then put your own name next to it. If you have any contacts of any business owners, I could reach out to who would uh, get some more sales for themselves. So put Alifia and your own name in the chat, if you know any of those. Okay. And we liberally share, so anyone in your contact book uh, who needs more sales, any business owners in your contact book who needs more sales and a blueprint of how to achieve, put Alifia and your name next to it. Okay. Only one, nobody needs sales. Yeah, interesting. Can you all give me some of your customers? <laughs> if y'all don't need more sales. Okay, super duper. We're gonna do a sales training workshop somewhere uh, in uh, September now. And uh, they can join in for that as well. Okay, lovely. In our list, I have next uh, Gaurav. Gaurav, go ahead. Good morning once again. Uh, I'm Gaurav Paul. I am based in Dubai. I uh, have an experience in communication events, etc. And I'm also associated with uh, Alicia. I promote uh, businesses uh, which want to expand their business in the Middle East as their extended arm in the Middle East. So if you have any connections or if you'd like to grow your business in the Middle East, do get in touch. Thank you. Brilliant. So now put Gaurav and your own name in the chat. If you want to extend your business in the Middle East, Middle East is one of the most lucrative places to do business in. So put your put Gaurav and your own name in the chat. If you have anyone who needs to potentially consider growing their business in the Middle East. Okay, super. Now, Gaurav is going to reach out to Prashant, Jitendra, Sumitra within this week and see how they can support him. He can do that from a simple WhatsApp message to them 
or even connect with them on a one-on-one. -on -one. And that's how this platform works. Great, let's have Prashant now, and then we'll have Ananta after. Yeah, hi, good morning on. I'm Prashant Savan, I'm from Mumbai, India, Amchi Mumbai. So I'm a brand consultant and design having 23 years of advertising experience. And before my entrepreneurship, I worked with Active, Zeba, Samsung, Tenchi as a brand manager. Now I'm giving a services, one-stop services to the business owner, entrepreneur who like to promote their businesses in the market. So my services are, uh, uh, we are creating brand stories. We are creating uh, brand design, pro product shoot, helping and creating platform to sell, fixing target audience for marketing, working with uh, 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 returning of his uh, ROI. So please connect me to a business owner or entrepreneur who like to launch their product or services. Even though I would uh, uh, like to connect with the Dubai business owners who are looking for advertising or marketing services for promoting their um, uh, business. Thank you so much. Wow, brilliant. Um, normally, a new business owner is very confused about what's the right thing to say, what's the right thing to show, what's the right thing to... So he's helping startups. Really, it's good help to take instead of losing three months. By the time a startup really understands what he should be doing, he loses three to four months. Imagine working three, four months without a salary. So uh, take help, get it done faster. It's much more cost effective. So guys, question. with Prashant, sorry. The one question do you ever give to the group? Or... No, uh, come again, sir. I, I do you have a give? To the group, do you give a session? Uh, my, my my all all my Mumbai clients is my gifts. If you have a right connect uh, or right suitable your uh, services, I can connect you anywhere. In the market. Okay. Thank you. Thank for you that. so much. I'm okay, so sorry guys. I missed that gives. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's okay. You don't have to be sorry. No, that's fine. It's not a sort of part of the platform. It's just about asking for whose connection you want, and you give when people offer. Uh, their uh, introductions and that's the time you give brilliant let's have uh, so Prashant you have four or five people who have given their names take a note of their numbers um, so that you can reach out to them during the week okay let's have Ananta and then we'll have Madhu Rima and after fruitful day one and all upgrade and upskill is a continuous process for success we all know that we from onwards and upwards provide you a fantastic opportunity to gear and equip the 21st century skills and future ready courses for 15 plus teenagers in your network, dear and near one. Real life business leaders are the professors rather than theoretical professors. So seeking connection with college trustees and principals to get connected to the colleges. We also do a SWOT analysis to make informed decisions about best career opportunities for your children. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Ananta from Onwards and Upwards. Okay, great. So people put Ananta and your own name if you have any contacts in any colleges, any universities, any schools. He's into education and he's making it fun for people who get bored studying. So guys, put Ananta and your... So everyone, come on, this is the giving platform. So Kuldeep, welcome in. You just joined in. Uh, Laura, if you can say, share the link or where he can put his introduction in. Um, so give, uh, anyone knows any school, any university, any college, anywhere that he can reach out to and show how education can become fun. That's what he brings to the table. Uh, okay, so you've got Jitendra to reach out to. Okay, let's have Madhurima and then we'll have Sumitra after. Uh, hi everyone, good morning. I'm Madhurima and I am from Fisto Sports in Chennai, India. So we are a brand that tries to, you know, uh, give coverage to young athletes all over the country. And we also have another business called Fisto Media, wherein we help brands with their social media presence. And that includes everything ranging from content to designs to uh, you know, uh, anything which is photography or videography related. So we try to help brands enhance their social media presence, basically. So we focus mainly on sports, 
but we also foray into you know other brands as well so our most recent project was the chess olympiad which i think uh, most of you would know about it was the first time that uh, india was hosting an event of that scale it was the first time that the chess olympiad was happening in chennai which was the 44th edition so we did the uh, you know we worked on the social media for the chess olympiad and uh, you know we it it went really well so that's something we're really proud of so if any of you have any needs on brands that want to you know expand on social media or you know have any digital marketing needs we could really be of help for that super thanks uh, madurima so very clear pitch uh, so put madurima and her and your name in the chat if you have anything to share so remember you may not need uh, any branding or social media for yourself but you probably know someone in your phone book that could benefit from that service so it's about willingly giving there's two ways of sharing you can tell her use my name or you can tell her don't use my name but don't stop yourself from sharing that contact anyway so put madurima and your own name in the chat if anyone needs any social media or if any of your friends have products into sports or games especially for kids so they're doing great work in sporting and they're creating a media platform for sporting for games and sports so a lot of limelight for uh, the gaming industry football chess anything you know okay let's have sumitra now and then we'll have jitendra after hi everyone i'm sumitra chaudhary from india from dawn to dusk we come across intellectual properties therefore for a common man knowledge of intellectual property rights is needed i sumitra chaudhary partner of chambers ip a one stop solution of ip law assist clients with their trademark patent copyright industrial design and geographical indication my ask is any msme um any startup or msme or pharmaceutical laboratories which wants to go or any corporate which wants to go for trademark or patent or copyright and my give is my 32 years experience complimentary search and worth service thank you very much wow brilliant so all the words that scare any business owner uh when it's extremely important normally it's not in our normal knowledge domain we don't learn this in school or college and we never understand the importance of it so connect with an expert she's given 32 years to the industry maybe she can give you 10 minutes solution to your hunt so connect with Thank her so on a one on one to learn um maybe sumitra you can do an education session for our group about how okay. when people don't do these things right from the first day of setting up a business how they screw up in life excuse my friend we are on youtube surely thank you so much i will do it thank you so much So okay, let's like connect it. with me for to plan the uh, education session, okay? Surely. I put my name uh, in the chat also. Okay, super duper. So, uh, so we try to reach out to uh, Jitendra, Prashant, and Noro this week. Super. Let's have Jitendra now. Okay. So, good morning, everybody. This is uh, Jitendra Gupta from Mumbai, India, and uh, I am the author of five books and a spiritual millionaire coach. and i basically help growth oriented entrepreneurs who want to make money while making a difference in the lives of people and that too in a super fast and effortless way and i do that by giving different kind of uh, workshops trainings and coachings so uh, which enhances their productivity enhances their relationships improves the relationship the quality of communication make their mind happy and peaceful and grows their sales and profits so my one success story is lakshmikan gadam he is a, one of the partner in a family owned or a, one of the member in the family owned business when he uh, met me he was uh, looking after production and he was fearful of sales and in his relationships were also all sucking with his spouse with his parents and he was all the time stressed and then when he did my uh, he connected with me then he started loving sales and he started making 50% of his sales of his organization 
His relationship with his spouse as well as parents improved drastically. And now instead of uh, complaining, he was now grateful for whatever happens in his life. So this is one uh, this is a story. And my ask is the business owners like you all or SME uh, business owners who want to grow your business without stress and in a very fast track way. So Jitendra Gupta. And today I'm going to share some important insights on how you can increase your productivity. So connect with me one to one. Super. Um, a small request, let's uh, uh, make the introduction slightly crisp so that we can have time for the education session in the end today. So um, guys put Jitendra and your own name in the chat. And he's doing an education session also today. So you can, uh, it's worth uh, spending time with him. He's really accomplished and doing a lot of value add for everyone. Okay, let's have Shakila quickly. Good morning, everyone. Hi, my name is Shakila from Chennai. I just started my consultancy, uh, HR consultancy five, five months back, and I'm currently doing with uh, IT and manufacturing. Uh, what we do is that we do recruitments like uh, from the entry level to the mid level and from mid level to the senior levels. And we also do mass hirings and executive search like for the leadership hiring. And we do payroll like process to the salaries and uh, wages transfer to the banks and uh, HR policies. And we also conduct the exit interviews. And we also do uh, renegade reports like offer candidates who are back out from the joining. We find the reasons to improve the hiring process. So that's all from my side. Uh, I would like to, my give up is that uh, please do support us and uh, give us an opportunity to work with the companies who are in need of the outsourcing. Thank you so much. I love her uh, explanation, guys. So everyone just quickly put Shakila and your own name in the chat. Uh, but usually people would come and say, I do HR outsourcing. And they assume everyone knows what is the breakup of that word HR outsourcing. But she actually spelled out exactly what are the small, small functions in it, you know, because nobody know, is not, everyone's not in your world, right? So we don't necessarily, but she spelled it out. So just something to learn, right? For exit interviews, onboarding, hiring, recruiting, uh, research, candidate research, blah, blah, blah. So she actually spelled out everything that they do. So it was really nicely pitched, something we can all uh, learn from. So guys, everyone, put Shakila and your own name in the chat. And let's be willingly giving anyone. So people that came in late, our phone contacts are not ours anymore. It belongs to everyone here. So maybe you don't need HR uh, recruiting. You don't need people. But someone in your world knows. Some corporate knows. Bigger corporate. She's talking about manufacturing. She's talking about... Um, one more industry, she said. IT, IT industry. IT, IT and manufacturing, come on. So these are industries which are highly paid jobs and senior and leadership positions. So if you know anyone in these industries, throw that name and contact for her. Okay. All right. Let's have uh, Nikita Desai and then Anupama after. So Sandeep, you want to introduce yourself next? We can let you introduce next uh, after ship. After Nikita. So hang on for like a minute. Nikita, go ahead. Where's she gone? Okay, Nikita's not in the room, I think. Okay, Sandeep, you can introduce yourself. Oh boy, I really appreciate this. Oh, but we're missing the background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is because, uh, Alika, I'm in Ladakh. I'm in a hotel room right now, enjoying my life. And, um, I'm available for the give that I mentioned in the chat box. Why this give might be meaningful to people who are meeting for the first time. I really like to connect with you if you're meeting for the first time. Because uh, quite like Jitendra, speaker of today, I uh, work in the area of uh, getting people to align their body, mind, and spirit, becoming stress-free. And uh, that's something that I think a lot of entrepreneurs need in the world. And a lot of friends of entrepreneurs need. So put me across to people so that we can initiate discussions on these things. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Avipia. Wow, brilliant. I can feel the cold in your room. Yeah. <laughs> just the color of that. Uh, uh, 
but you know sometimes people come with a constant background so like for example prashant if i see prashant without that background i won't recognize him you know if i meet him on the road without the background <laughs> 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 so just that image of his face with that uh, constant, uh, but that's good. That's marketing again. So guys, extremely. Uh, if you guys are stressed and you don't know how to manage your stress, and he's a stress guru and stuff, and he's really helping with productivity skills as well. So connect with him. Extremely established. Extremely. Uh, Sandeep, you haven't filled the link today. I think. I did. I did. You did. I okay. just did, and then I wrote the note. Okay. Fine. Super. Thanks, guys. So guys click Sandeep and your own name in the chat to connect with Sandeep. Someone you can learn a lot with. Okay, I've got your Sandeep. Okay, so put Sandeep and your own name in the chat. Oh, someone lots to learn with. And even if you don't want to learn, you're the most established non-stress person on the planet. Put your wife on it or put your husband on it. Maybe you can get more or less stress. Oh, so put uh, put other people around on it. Okay. Okay. Great. Let's have uh, Nikita. I'd love to meet the newcomers. I've almost had a one-on-one -on -one with everybody who's an old timer, but I'm looking forward to meeting uh, people who are here for Maybe the first time. Maybe do a new uh, new yeah. session with you as well. So you know, uh, everyone who missed a uh, lot of new people now. So on our platform. Yeah. So great. Yeah, right time. place, right time. Sandeep, do share pictures from Ladakh. Cool. Thanks for asking. I will. Let's get everybody jealous. <laughs> Good you get it from this uh, operations head of the group, huh? because he's the one who's always like sending pictures, comments on the. <laughs> he's like the policeman of our WhatsApp group. <laughs> you guys, I, I gotta go. Thanks so much. Okay. Enjoy. Uh, Anupama, go now. Then we'll have Meena after. Good morning, beautiful people. This is Anupama from FOSI Integrated Communicators based here in Dubai. Um, as usual, no asks, but yes, a lot to give. Uh, currently, I am busy launching almost four products that are coming to India, uh, into Dubai. Um, the kind of information, the kind of intel that this business is required, we have the expertise. Okay, I will not say I have the expertise, but yes, of course, we have a team of experts working through them. So connections in terms of be it India or be it Dubai, yeah, I'm just one phone call away. No ask, just to give. This is Anupama from 4C Integrated Communicators. We are a marketing communications agency based through Dubai. Over to you, Alifia. Brilliant. So extremely experienced and extremely knowledgeable, established woman and been in Dubai for like, what, 20 years plus. Uh, so definitely connect with Anupama, especially if you need inputs on, she's already bringing some Indian companies to the Middle East. So if anyone needs more help, work with her. So Anupama and your own name in the chat. So maybe you have no plans to expand, but you know someone in your phone book who could potentially benefit from that connect. So put Anupama and your own name. So we have Prashant for you. Let's have Meena now. Hey, hi, good morning, friend. Myself, Meena. I work as a nutritionist. My firm name is Fersefed. As all festival has started, right? Jaise ki Raksha Bandhan, Dai Handi, now Ganpati will come, Diwali will come. Do you really want to go in your old wardrobe? It's a guaranteed weight loss, 4 kg in a month. 12 kg in a three months. But as Diwali is very near, I am giving a guarantee for 10 kg weight loss. And what you will get to eat, you will get, if you are a vegetarian, paneer, cheese, milk and curd. And if you are a non-vegetarian, you will get chicken, mutton, fish, everything. Last week's success story, I am very much thankful to Anupama that she has connected me with one client whose diabetic level was 350 and within just one month, it has come down to 110. Is it not amazing, guys? Only with the food and uh, only with his favorite food, it has come down. So connect me with your friends and relatives. I can connect with you with 5,000 doctors in Mumbai if you want to connect with any doctor, whether it is DHMS, BMS, surgeon, cardiologist, cancer specialist. 
once again meena from persevit stay fit stay healthy thank you wow it's amazing when you say you can eat and lose weight <laughs> or you can eat your favorite wow it's a, it's unbelievable i can i can sorry to interrupt elifia <laughs> yes I, i want to vouch for what meena said uh, the change in 30 days time has been exponential yeah it's wow. just not excellent it's exponential uh client is very happy with how things are working out um and i would vouch for if you have any issues regarding your weight your diabetics um mina is the go to person does she come with a stick uh unfortunately no <laughs> in fact the best part was we, we would eat anything that we wanted so he said okay there's not much of a change in my lifestyle and yet i was able to get smaller portions not a smaller portion whatever you want to like whatever you want to eat i will give you in your quantity don't worry about the quantity you will fulfill your stomach you will not feel hungry that is my guarantee <laughs> okay and thank you anupama for trusting me thank you thank you so much alifia for giving me this nice platform and thank you anupama for trusting me once again thank you so much okay brilliant 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 Okay, guys. I don't have any more interruption links filled, so I think uh, U.S. Sharon, the good-looking hunk, <laughs> Shubhangi Parker, um, Mayank. You guys have to fill the link to get your introduction. Without filling the link, you don't get to introduce yourself on our platform. Like the only way you can introduce yourself is by filling the link. So with that note, uh, we are done with our introductions for today. Uh, uh, Mayank, Sharon, and uh, Shubhangi, if you're here, fill the link uh, quickly that I've just sent. Laura has just sent, and we will have your introductions in the end. Uh, we have an education session now. Mayank, are you okay? Uh, you have uh, you're able to fill the link. Any uh, questions? Alifia, hi. Good morning, everyone, and good morning, Alifia. I tried to submit. However, it is saying that uh, you already have submitted, so I'm not able to. And when I uh, when I click edit, then it is also not editing. So maybe they maybe I'm not able to do it properly. So you can just click edit and do resubmit. Yeah, yeah, I tried. Okay, anyway, let me try once again. Try it one more time. It works. It's Google. If Google okay. doesn't work, none of us will work. <laughs> okay. okay. Alifia, can I say something up to Maya? Yes, exactly. Yes. Um, maybe you are trying for mobile, so that's why it is not connecting. If you try on it's, laptop, it's, it is connecting. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. I am trying with Thank the you. mobile only. Thanks. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Okay. okay. If you that if you can't do it, no problem. I have your past uh, introduction. I will use that, uh, and uh, you Please. can still use. But let's do it after the tender session. Until then, you can sure. try. You can get it fixed. Okay. And the and problem is, I don't. The... Have, I'm not having the laptop right now, so I won't be. Okay. I am not having the laptop. Try one right more now. time, yeah. otherwise I'll do it manually for you for this week. Thank you, thank you, Alif. Okay. Thank Lovely. you. Lovely. Yeah. Uh, Kumar and Shivangi and U.S. Sharon. I wish I knew his name, but Sharon, just do what you have to do, and it's been repeated a few times. Kumar, have you found the link? You know, when you come with a face, I know I'm talking to someone. Otherwise, no, dear, not yet. I was just uh, entered late, and I was just got busy somewhere. Somewhere, I just forgot about it, and suddenly it came to my mind. I just did it. No worries. You want me to fill that first? God of us just sent it. Just fill your link so that everyone gets your contact number, email that we will share in the end of the day. Okay. Okay. Super. Let's have the tender session now, and we will restart by or. Uh, um, 9 a.m. Uh, Dubai time to finish the. Oh, okay, it's already 42. Let's okay. have Laurent introduce uh, Jitendra. I think Jitendra already introduced himself, so we can start. Okay, Laurent, go ahead. Okay, it was a pleasure to work with this gentleman. Witnesses what he's capable of doing to either individual or corporate, and I was wondering, is it a magic wand? No, it's pure coaching dedication to the person or to the group of people you work with. The um, it's a billionaire because his idea works millions and can transform your life. 
It's a pleasure to me to introduce to the community to a gentleman that I met and worked with recently, Mr. Jitendra Gupta. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Lawrence, for the wonderful introduction. And uh, I took uh, Lawrence's uh, services for one of my business presentations. And it uh, it was really one of the best thing because previously when I made the presentation, I had a lot of feedback. And this time when I gave, they were they said there is nothing to give feedback. So, so that speaks about Lawrence's uh, expertise. Okay. So um, coming to today's... Uh, education. So I want to ask all of you, how many of you want to achieve your goals at a speed? You can just raise your hands. Okay. And how many of you want to achieve your goals effortlessly without working hard? Okay. Great. So uh, today I'm going to share some of the insights on how you can uh, do that. And of course, uh, since uh, we don't have a lot of time, uh, with whatever time we have limited time, I will try to give whatever best I can. And if you want to know more and you want to go deeper, then you can connect uh, one to one with me. Okay. So, uh, so first of all, I want to share my story about why, why I am uh, speaking on this particular topic of productivity. So after I completed my CA in the year 2000, I joined banking industry. And there I saw that most people were stressed and not happy. And I asked myself, what's the purpose of my life? Is it just to uh, do a job, give loans to the people and just take care of my family? And the answer was no, my life is for a bigger purpose, to serve humanity, to bring joy, peace and harmony into the lives of people. So this thought became bigger and bigger. In 2010, I resigned from the bank and I joined a, a spiritual and social organization. And there I got involved into human transformation work, into spirituality, into, uh, I met a lot of people of all kinds of uh, people from people who are very, very rich, but not happy. People who are very, very happy, but financially struggling. So all kinds of people I met. And uh, <clears throat> after working there for a few, uh, working this, after involved in, uh, getting involved with that organization, and working for the social welfare and spiritual development of people. For a few years, I exhausted all my savings. And then I realized in order to live a very fulfilling life, you need money, you need spiritual growth, as well as you need a meaning and purpose of serving people. So that is what became the purpose of my life to create spiritual millionaires. And for that, I didn't know how it will happen. So, um, so I started doing research. I started attending a lot of uh, uh, training programs I did from both in national, international, I went through a lot of books. I acquired a lot and lot of knowledge by, you know, I invested more than 30 to 50 lakhs like, rupees on that. But then what I realized, even after uh, investing 30 to 50 lakhs like, rupees and after uh, investing more than 10 years of my life, I still did not achieve the kind of results that I wanted, the kind of impact that I wanted to make in the society, in the lives of people, the kind of impact I wanted to contribute to my family. And then I was wondering, like, uh, why, why this is not happening? And I also saw that a lot of people are there who are, if you see them, after, uh, like where they were 30 years before, 20 years before, 10 years before, five years before, they are still there only. Nothing much has shifted for them, either financially or business-wise or in relationships or anything. And then I was wondering, like, uh, what is the problem? Why people are like spending so much time and energy into doing a lot of stuff, working hard, acquiring knowledge, but still nothing shifts for them. And uh, so that became that became a quest for me. Like, what's the difference? And at the same time, I saw that there are people who are highly successful, people who have achieved tremendous uh, success in a very short period of time. So I was like, what is making the difference? What is differentiating high achievers from non-achievers? What is it that is differentiating successful people from um, ordinary or not so successful people? And when I started doing the research, I realized that the main difference is in the level of productivity. 
it is in the ability to get things done ordinary people or people who are not so successful they are uh, they don't achieve things because they don't get the important things done whereas high achievers and successful people they get important things done on a consistent and regular basis and that was a key distinguishing factor because it doesn't matter how much knowledge you have it doesn't matter how much resource you have if you are not going to get important things done which needs to be done you are not going to achieve the success because success is what like if you are here and this is your goal there is a gap so you have to take actions so that you can plug this gap right and this is what uh, i saw is missing in most of the people so when i started uh, doing this research i could identify some common patterns coming out in the people who are not successful as well as the people who are successful and then as i started applying those uh, insights into my own life then something wonderful thing started happening for example i wanted to write a book in 2014 and i started writing a book but till 2019 i did nothing about it okay so for 5 years i did nothing in 2019 i started writing a book and i wrote it but again it was not published okay so like that i knew that this was something important as a trainer and coach but uh, i was not doing that very important thing and then in this uh, 2020 february 2022 i got an invitation for a national entrepreneur summit and that time i decided that i will go there with five books and i didn't know how i am going to do that but i decided i have to go with five books and now we now being equipped with those productivity insights i started applying those principles and those strategies and those uh, tools and then this was on 5th of march i started working around 15th of uh, february on this project and i wanted to bring five books and uh, to my uh, to the surprise of me and my team everybody when i went to the uh, entrepreneur summit i went this with this five books okay so <clears throat> i i surprised myself because something which i was not able to do for five to seven years i could just uh, five times of that i could do in just matter of a uh, couple of weeks so how i was able to do that and not just that i also wanted to come into the uh, you know magazines international magazines for many many years but i was not able to do that and then again it happened not once not twice but thrice i came in the authority magazine of a medium group which is one of the international group um, my interviews were published there so all this kind of things started happening and they were all like something i realized oh my god if i would have just learned this maybe 10 years back okay um, what i could have done today what would i have would have achieved today would be like uh, maybe 100 times more than what i have done okay so any of you could relate to whatever i have said anybody could relate <coughs> to whatever i have said in terms of challenges you have plans you want to do but just keep on postponing postponing things right so today i am going to share uh, first of all i'll share what are the common mistakes uh, which uh, people do because of which um, this time goes away and nothing results happen then i am going to share some of the myths that would be stopping you and then i will share some of the important uh high productivity secrets which you can start applying today itself okay and uh, i know these are all this will not be exhaustive uh, because of the time shortage but then this will give you a kick start and then for those who want to know more and go deeper you can connect one to one okay so so first uh, can i share my this thing uh, i have the screen share Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Can you see the screen? Yes. 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 Okay. We can do full okay. full presentation. 
program. Yes. yes. Okay. So first of all, let me tell you what is the uh, common and the biggest mistakes which uh, people do. And you check, while I'm saying you check with yourself, is it something that you are also committing? So number one, one mistake which uh, I've observed the people who don't achieve much is one thing is uh, they don't have any written plan. They start their day without any clarity, without any plan on what they have to do today, what important tasks they have to complete today. I've seen many people when they start their day, they come on the desk and then they start wondering, okay, what should I do today? And then whatever comes to their mind, uh, they start uh, they just start jotting those things. Oh yeah, I, I, I have to meet this person. Oh, I have to call this person. Oh, this is important work which is pending. And they will just make a, you know, a uh, jot down some points and then they will start working on it. Now, this is not, uh, this will not work out because, uh, so either this happens or, uh, or whatever comes in front of you. We'll start with whatever comes in front of you and you start working on it. Okay, for example, you saw a WhatsApp message and something is happening in that WhatsApp message and you're responding and you get involved into that. And then you will find that uh, somehow the day has went by and nothing much has been achieved. Anybody could relate to this? Yes. Okay. So this is, if you really want to achieve your big goals in your life, then uh, with the working without a plan, without a written plan, okay, is a... a will be a big, one of the biggest, uh, uh, the, uh, what I say, it will take away a lot of your time without any concrete results. Okay. So, so this is the number one mistake people do. Second, <clears throat> second mistake I see people, common mistake, they start their day with uh, social media. It could be, uh, uh, they start their day with WhatsApp messages, WhatsApp, watching the WhatsApp messages, or uh, go to um, Facebook or any of the other Google and you know, then they think that they are, um, they just want to know what's happening or many people even start the day with the newspapers. So they want to know what's happening, but in the process, they don't realize that how much of that time they have started this thinking, okay, I'll complete in a few minutes. And then before they realize it's one hour or two hours is gone. Okay. And your most important thing is your morning time because the way you are going to start your day, that will determine how your rest of the day is going to be. So this is another big mistake because it eats away your precious time, especially the morning time, which needs to be given to your, uh, your uh, rejuvenation. With this, you start your day with social media. So stop doing that. Then the third thing is, this is the biggest thing, okay? Why people don't achieve their goals and why people are lingering into the same uh, levels of growth, same levels of uh, business or same levels of uh, things, even after many, many years. It is because they are busy with routine things. They think they are very busy. They think they are doing things. From morning to evening, they may be working, but they are busy and they are working what? They are busy doing routine things. Routine things, routine things are the things which are which you have to do on a day-to-day -day basis to sustain and maintain whatever you are doing. But that is not something that will take your business or your relationship or whatever your goals to the next level. So for example, if uh, suppose we are, now we are all into business. So making calls to people, meeting people and uh, going through the say WhatsApp messages, going through emails, all these are like routine things. You have to do this. There is no option. Okay, if you have a business, you have to do this. You may, have, you may be having meeting with your team. So all these are routine things. So if your whole day, if you're only busy with doing routine things, then you don't have time to do important things. Things that are going to make a big impact. And because of, because of this, 
you may be thinking that today I have to get one important big thing done. But because you are busy doing the routine thing, the important thing keeps getting postponed. It, it, you think, okay, I'll do tomorrow. And then from tomorrow, it goes another tomorrow. And like this, before you realize it's one week, and then you say, okay, I will do next time. And then it is one month, and then it is one year. And then many times you just forget about it. You say, okay, forget it. No, it's not, uh, it's even out of your mind. So how many of you could relate with this? This is one of the biggest thing, okay? Busy, being busy with the routine. Now, uh, one of the thing that happens here is, you all may have learned, uh, many of the people into the business world, they may have uh, read Stephen Covey's book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Anybody who have read? Okay. So he, there he talks about a quadrant. It's called about, you know, a productivity quadrant where he talks about important and urgent. Important, but not urgent. Urgent, but uh, not important. Not important, not urgent. So I also went through that. And I also realized, okay, I have to do something which is important. But then I realized that uh, I feel that everything is important. Okay. Uh, for example, I have to drop my daughter to the school. I feel that is important. I have to pick up from the school. That I feel is important. So I felt that everything is important. So I was very confused on how do I distinguish? Because everything seems to be If I don't do something, there will be a problem. So now, uh, so now when I was doing this research, uh, I got some clarity. So it's you have to distinguish even the important thing which are routine or something which is growth oriented. Okay. So, um, can anybody tell me what is the, or just let me tell you only, uh, or anybody can tell me what is the difference between routine and growth, routine activity and a growth activity? Yes, anybody? What is the difference between a routine activity or and a growth activity? Uh, you have to do something extra, extra efforts, extra plan. Extra efforts, extra plan, okay. See, if you get this point, this will be a big, big, big uh, differentiator, okay? It will make a big shift in your life. Yes, anybody else? Something different which will strategize to take your uh, business much forward. Something different. and Something different. Okay. Yes, anybody else? Okay. So, uh, let me tell you. A growth-oriented thing is something uh, where you work... Uh, initially you work for some time, but it will have a big, big impact over a long term in your business or whichever area you're working. Okay. Either it will save you a tremendous amount of time or expenses, or it will increase your revenue, maybe double, triple, 10 times like that. It's just something that's going to make a big difference over a long period. Routine is something that is just going to maintain whatever you are doing. Okay. So that's the distinction. So... So actually, one second, let me just interrupt. I, we are almost done with time, to be honest. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. But I come to like sort of plan sometimes. So ideally, why we do these education sessions is uh, we we believe that uh, ten minutes or fifteen minutes is enough to give some takeaways, some nuggets to entrepreneurs who are fairly busy, and then uh, you can invite them into a more detailed session where uh, they can uh, invest time and learn more and go deeper into that topic or into that yeah. set, right? So, but when we are uh, technically uh, uh, preoccupied with a million other things and we have limited number of times, you know, it's like the, the snippet of that book or that, you know, 10 minutes uh, summary of the takeaway of that crunch crust or that uh, crunch or something like that. So technically, that's the intention why we keep these uh, education sessions crisp, you know, because you can have a one hour, two hour session, but it need not be relevant to everyone, right? But you can still give a nugget of 10, 15 minutes, which is a valid uh, takeaway card, which people can go implement immediately, go get started and get something out of it. And then right. if they want to know more, you can then invite them into a 10, one hour or a two hour or a four hour or a two-day training or a three-month uh, program or things like that, right? right. So with that, so I, want me, to, uh, invite, uh, I want to conclude so, the meeting anyway. Yeah, so, uh, but, yeah, so, but, uh, so uh, Alifia, give me two minutes so I will give those uh, few things which they no, can No, no, so put, I'm going to uh, give no. you 15 minutes. One second, hold on. Okay. So what I'll do is I request everyone to uh, stay on for like another 15 odd minutes. 
So we officially do close the meeting since mm. the time is nine, and we like to be very organized on our. Alifia, we have half an hour more. No, are you serious? Oh yes. Sorry to nine thirty. Oh yes, okay, of course. Oh yes, I'm sorry, my bad. I was. Good morning, Alifia. No, no, we've been having our meeting at seven thirty earlier, right? So we've got uh, we've got time now. That's fine. Okay, good. So let's continue for another fifteen minutes, and then we'll finish with. Uh, uh inviting people to a more longer program when they like it okay so yeah. go ahead what is your thing for that <laughs> no not an issue okay okay <clears throat> uh, can you see are you able to see Yeah, yeah, we can see. It's coming up. I don't know what happened. <clears throat> yeah, I think. Uh, yeah. So, so this is the these are the biggest mistake. Okay. Now, I'll go to the now. What are the things that you can actually do so that you can get your uh, <clears throat> get. faster to your goals and actually achieve your goals so uh, so first thing is always plan don't just start doing anything okay whatever you have to do first plan whatever you have to do and then only you start executing and ideally you make this plan a day before for example for tomorrow you make this plan in the night evening okay before you end the day you make the plan tomorrow what all the important things you have to do don't just start uh, Don't just make a very long list. Uh, sorry, Gaurav, what you said? No, that was an error. Go ahead. Thank okay, <laughs> okay. So, so, uh, so make this plan on a daily basis. Also, make this plan on a weekly basis and a monthly basis. On a regular basis, you make this plan so that you don't have to waste your time just thinking what I have to do. you already have a clarity of what all things i have to do and then you have to just execute okay so this is one thing another very important thing don't just uh, make a long to do list and uh, just do whatever comes to your mind or whatever you think uh, is the easiest thing but instead choose out of whatever things you have to do which are the things that will make the biggest difference which are the things that will uh, Um, make the biggest difference in your business or whichever area you want to work upon okay for example as a coach and the trainer for me one of the important thing is uh, just writing the books getting on the media making my uh, yearly marketing plan okay so like this you have to identify which are the things which are high priority high impact and focus on those few things rather than focusing on the routine things okay so this is the second thing in fact only by doing this i was able to bring those five books in uh, two weeks period okay so this is the second very very important thing and third very important thing today the one of the biggest uh, problem what people have is distraction they are distracted all the time because of which they cannot focus and because of that they do not get things done so work in time cave now what is time cave <clears throat> i have a full workshop on this but uh, in short time cave is you choose a specific period of time say 90 minutes of time and then you focus on one important thing that you have to do and then when you are working on that you just focus on doing one important thing now that work that without any distractions distraction means you switch off your mobile phones you tell other people who are there that for this uh, 90 minutes i am busy doing something important so please don't disturb me if you have some uh, call coming you can give your calls your mobile to somebody else so that they can handle basically you focus a period of at least 90 minutes on a daily basis so that you can get important thing done without any distractions okay so if you follow these three things 
you automatically will be able to achieve much more in much lesser time. So for example, whatever I was able to achieve, which was taking me like seven to, I wanted to create a landing page, which, which was taking me months because I was not knowing how to do. And it was getting postponed and postponed. When I focused and worked in a time cave, I was able to complete it in three hours. Okay. Similarly, another person who wanted to create this vision board for more than one year, but he was not able to create it. But then as he worked in his time cave, he was able to complete it in less than 90 minutes. Okay. So working in a focused time cave way will save you a lot of time. Secondly, it will increase the quality of your output. And thirdly, it will happen very effortlessly. Okay. So this is something I also cover in a, a special workshop, this 10x productivity workshop, where I actually give you the experience so that you can use it throughout your life. Okay. So these are the three things which you can do it from today. Just after this session, you can start. Just to recap the three things you can do is, one is start first plan and then execute. So you can make a list what you want to do today, important things, and then you start executing. Second thing is you decide which are the important things more important, the growth oriented thing. First, you start working on them and then you do other things. And third is decide a time of say at least 90 minutes, work in a focused way instead of distracted way. So if you follow these three things, it will take your uh, productivity to the next level and help you achieve your goals. There are more things, but right now I'm not going to go uh, into this thing, right? We can take some uh, Q and A probably. Okay. Yeah. I hope I was uh, in time now, Olivia. <laughs> no, we made a mistake <laughs> with the schedule. Sorry about that. Uh, but uh, you want to take? Uh, you want to share some more stuff? We have another five seconds. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, so I would like to take some question and answers, uh, so that I can uh, with whatever I have given, because if, if, if whatever I have given, that is also if you can apply. It will make a big difference. Okay. And uh, uh, if you want more, uh, all these things, whatever I've shared, okay, it's there in this book, Busy to Highly Productive, which you can find in Amazon. Okay. So you can purchase that. You can get more things. And uh, what I can offer, I am offering uh, a one to one session, whoever wants, where I will just Go through your, we'll do a productivity assessment of yours. Okay. What is how you're spending your time? What are your goals? What is happening? What is not happening? What is working? What is not working? And then what you can do so that you can be highly productive and uh, you can um, achieve your goals at a faster pace. So this is a free session. There's no charge, no, nothing attached. It's just a give from my side. And um, yeah, now you can ask any questions. Anupama has a question. Yes, I have a question for Jitendra. Yeah. Jitendra, we go to, through all these workshops and everything, learn a lot of uh, techniques, but how do we set the accountability factor? Because that's so, where uh, people lack. Exactly. So what you're saying is very, very important. This is what I mean. I was after spending likes and likes and years and years into attending high level training programs also. I realized that I have not implement. I was not able to implement those things. And without implementation, all knowledge is of uh, no use. So accountability is important. So best thing is most of the program, most of the trainers or programmers, they offer a coaching program where which normally will include accountability also. So if you are really serious about something, don't just do a seminar or a workshop. Go for the proper coaching because that is where. Because you want to implement the thing. Don't just want to know the thing. You want to get it implemented and get the result. So if ideally go for the coaching program, which will include accountability. In case if they are not offering any accountability, then you have to have your own uh, accountability system. So you can ask somebody who is also into the same journey. You can ask them that uh, let us hold each other accountable. Or... You may even actually pay somebody just to hold you accountable and you have to tell, make me accountable for this thing. On daily basis, you just ask me, ye kiya ki nahi kiya. whether you did this or not. If not, 
you tell me i will give some consequences and if i did uh, 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 i will give some reward to myself so even if you can do this uh, it will go a long way if you have a, if you have any child my daughter is there you know every time she does this for me she papa aapne bola tha ye karenge nahi kiya chalo 100 rupees okay so so then i am like nahi i am doing this okay so so like that you can have different uh, systems of accountability usually they say time is the most uh, most valuable the most expensive the most valuable resource it never comes back so once lost it can never come back so um i recently read this book uh, 12 week uh, uh, 12 week year anyone heard of it a 12 week year so they say don't have your yearly goals uh, assume the whole year is only 12 weeks and then work on having your yearly goals happening in 12 weeks so you have like and everything just starts getting faster and because you know you don't know what's going to happen in a year right so you have 12 week year it was a brilliant brilliant lovely book uh, and it's just more about how do you get the right things done instead of what jitendra rightly said you know we get stuck with routine and uh, we just do repetitive tasks because that's the comfort zone but then uh, the most important task are the most ones that we've never done before and it's the non comfort zone it's just not comfortable and you just probably have never done it before yeah. and because of which you start procrastinating and you avoid it and and things like that so so well uh, these are just you know maybe we should have tools and maybe we can find each other to become accountable to each other for so i'm not sure maybe jitendra you can guide us to set one goal and then come back yeah, next yeah yeah, yeah. so actually i have a, accountable on a weekly basis see actually i have a like you know i conduct a full to three day workshop on this you know how you set your goals and how you uh, like one of the thing people have happens is people set the goals every year people set the goals but then what they are doing on a day to day basis has nothing much to uh, is no there is no sync between what they are doing and the goals they have to achieve so yes. it has to be done in a very systematic way where you set the goal and then you make a systematic reverse engineer it so that the task that you have to do the important tasks they get scheduled on your uh, daily weekly time calendar then it will happen one important task that we want to do this week so and then so what we can do so accountable yeah. for Week. so what everybody can do is probably you can decide uh, in this week or the next week what is one most important thing that uh, will make the biggest difference so for example for me i am working on the crm software till now i don't have my all the contacts or my leads i have no track so i have purchased a crm software and i want to set up because that is the one thing that will make the biggest shift biggest difference so for me updating and uh, main, uh, keeping that crm complete and updated that is my biggest task for this week so this is so like that i want everybody you can put in the chat box what is let's one thing which will make let's the biggest shift yeah let's do it everyone in yeah. the chat let's put one important task and maybe you can uh, so normally when you put one important task in my own experience you you don't schedule it it never gets done so okay. first let's so, think of one important task what happened and alifia one thing we can do is we can create a for those people who are present here we can create a whatsapp group and we can hold the each one accountable and then when we meet next week we can see whether people have achieved right or not shitender i love that so uh, let's uh, form a group and those who want to be a part of it and see actually how it works so it'll be like a initiative? productivity boot camp Yeah, it's a one week probably would be boot camp. You can say. No, we'll do that every week. So every week we will assign one more uh, task, uh, and Fantastic. see how we did then do, and then maybe everyone. Will... So, so let me see. Can I? Can I say something? I have just joined. Yeah, of course. Hi, Bharat. Welcome. Hello. Can I say something, Alifia? Yes, you. 
Are you able to hear me or not? Yes. We can hear you. Okay. So one task I give everyone, one engagement a day on LinkedIn. No, no, <laughs> no way this is going. <laughs> It's a very simple one. You can do like, you can comment, you can do anything. Uh, Talking about self accountability, Bharat. Uh, Bharat, that is like something people have to decide what's really important, and that will make a big difference for them. Perfect. Uh, that is okay. Perfect. Perfect. No, you can definitely because this is important from your perspective. This is so important. you are doing, you are right. doing your work. <laughs> so I have already please, updated I, my work. Uh, please, everybody write. Okay, everybody has written. Okay, should we form a WhatsApp group then? I have formed it. I'm sending the link now on the chat. Okay, One so second. everybody uh, become a I part of it. it I'm sending the link on the chat. Whoever's up for it, no force. Nothing. Uh, let's yeah, yeah. Um, This is a chat link that for the group that I just created. Please click on the link and join your group. Okay, so very clear. Let me give this uh, uh, everyone here. Do you all agree with what Jitendra has just shared with us in the last 30 minutes? Do you all agree? Do you agree that time is the most re limited resource? And okay, so now what is that one thing which is important for? So everyone has their plan, like yearly goals and their uh, whatever. Let's come down to a weekly goal. So what's that one important task that you think is necessary, which is not out of the routine? So if you want, let's use the chat right now and, and type that one important and, task you want to do. And something that will make a big difference. Okay. Not something that is just maintenance. It will really make a big difference. Okay. That is the kind of task you want to choose. Yeah. So in the chat, if you all are bold, announce it. So we'll keep you accountable. So what's that one thing God of you want to do? What is the one thing, Meena, you want to do? So Neil, welcome in. Uh, Suhas, what's that one thing yet it's important for you to do? Um, and then ideally, it never gets done until you put it on a calendar, on a scheduled time. So you can say, like he said, put your time case. So say you want a 30-minute allocation to that job or a one hour allocation to that job. Yes, Anthony. Uh, plan a day before and execute. Okay, great. So you're gonna give 15 minutes to this every night at 8 p.m. Absolutely. So put that in your calendar schedule now. So we can, you can, that can be your one important thing. But in that one important thing, you may end up, Sunil, doing the routine jobs. So what we want to do is what's that one important thing? Because when you plan your day one day before, that's fine. You do that. But sometimes you will end up doing only the routine jobs. But what is that one important thing that Jitendra said is towards your goal? Like, for example, making a website or writing a CRM or writing a book. Or what is that one thing? Maduruma, what are you thinking? I, I can see she's like in thought. I like it when you put out a video, right? Because there's so much. Alicia, so I wanted to ask uh, Jitendra. Yeah. Uh, Jitendra, are you able to share the slide deck uh, so that you know we can keep that as our? Uh, yeah, I can. I can do. share that. There are many more tips there which I did ah, not share. Okay. Because I wanted some little more uh, Q and A can happen. Yeah. So I can share that. Very okay. good. Thanks. Uh, I will share in that is? group. In the there was one I'm point sure. on each slide, right? So what you can do is you can put the three, four points on one slide and just put one slide as a screenshot in our uh, WhatsApp group, the one that we created. Okay, sure, so sure. Be like a rem reminder for all of us that are we doing sure. that? Are we sure, doing sure, sure, sure. What Laurent calls aid memoir. Sorry? In French, there's a term aid memoir, what which means it's an Assistance for your memory. Aid memoir. Word of the day. Oh wow, that's new word for me. Gaurav ji. is new for everyone always. Yeah, yeah. we are yeah. Oxford dictionary. I guess. <laughs> okay, so with that note. Okay, one more thing. 
one more thing yeah go ahead uh, once you are posted you also identify whom you are going to be uh, select one uh, this accountable partner accountable body if this is the person <clears throat> i am going to be holding myself accountable so one is we have a group and one is you can have choose one person so both can you know help each other hold each other accountable so that <laughs> that's, very that's very difficult so that's very so what i will do is i'm going to create a, a breakout rooms with two people in each room whoever lands up with each other is the accountability partner so let's just so you have to change up this week they are completing that thing that is what you have to help okay each other that's it uh, can, can i ask one question yeah yeah jitendra yeah. ji jitendra yeah, yeah. i i uh, the, this is uh, i am i am taking your challenge i am taking your challenge what you are saying so my mostly time uh, goes into uh, explaining uh, about uh, branding about the advertising about the how we are working with the client yeah. so that that really uh, yeah. bad for me i think bad for me because i have a 8 hours to work with hmm. so mostly my 4 hours or 5 hours going with that task and so remaining i am just pushing uh, my head so now yeah. you understand oh, where i am uh, going so how you accountable this into my partner but that's very mm-hmm. difficult so no, that's no, my not, question so if, if no no you ra- last you say na you accountable for a body ha huh. so see first so, you declare first you declare huh. what is that important thing important task you want to complete in this week okay, okay. and then you just uh, tell that person you choose one person and tell them this is the task i am going to complete if i don't complete it uh, i will face this consequence you can say i will give you 1000 rupees okay acha <laughs> that's good so you hold yourself accountable like that or if i do it let me try yeah so like that you know let me try let me try two people in each room what you got to do is announce to that partner what you are going to do this week it needs not be a daily thing it can be a one minute job in the whole week which is helping you towards your next step right? and make sure you are accountable to each other go join your rooms guys go join my anka go in your room Laura are you joining the room?
Alifia, that's so quick. <laughs> the breakout is breakout room is time is very small. Anyway, anyway, that's okay. But I met uh, Gaurav ji. No, actually, you had to just share what is that task you want to complete and huh? just holding accountable. You this yeah, was not yeah. about introducing and everything. No, 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 no that's okay. Yeah, that's take it offline. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I met Gaurav ji, and that's really a pleasure meeting with Gaurav ji. So I have to learn from him. So let's see. Thank Alifia, you so much. Muted. <laughs> Alifia, you're muted. Alifia, no, Alifia, you're Alifia, muted. Animated Muting. silence. <laughs> muted. muted. Alifia, you're on mute. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think it automatically gets on mute. Today, Alifia is having certain things going on in her mind. I'm not sure what's happening today. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. what I could make it. Alifia, I can say you have missed your meditation session in the morning. <laughs> No, no, I have no Sunday mornings. I have my meditation coach on Sunday mornings. Oh, okay. Uh, Alifia, I just want Recharge to add something. Sorry, Adupaba. Yeah, yeah. I, I just wanted to add something to what uh, Prashant said. Yeah, he said that he takes a lot of time convincing people uh, to sign up with him. But uh, Prashant, we are in such a business that you know, no convincing can help you sign up people. It is the kind of relationships that you create with people that sign up people with you. So uh, you need to give time for relationships. They are, can, cannot happen at the snap of a finger. So don't feel bad about that you're trying to waste. It's not a waste of time, actually. You're investing into relationships because those are the people who will not only give you business, but also take your business to the next level by referring you. And there's nothing better than word of mouth when it comes to business uh, no no i want to correct here uh, it is not about the waste of time i am saying it is explaining about the what we are doing so if it is some logo uh, i just uh, on a lo one minute session we are, we are connected gaurav ji uh, under that room so we are explaining each other because he is also under that 30 years of experience to advertise if I explaining to people, uh, Patel, Shah, or Agarwal community about the branding, so they said that my logo is ready, right? So, unke liye branding means logo. That's it. Aap unko kitna bhi samjha do, unko ye samajh bhi nahi That's my time consuming answer. That's it. And, and I, of course, I am following relationship. Yes. Uh, my mostly 90% business are mouth publicity. So, okay. I can give you a tip. I can give you a tip. Yes, Record perfect. yourself. Record yourself. Make a webinar on that. That's very nice. <laughs> the many things you can do to <laughs> make and it happen. Out of the six hours you save, give me one hour of that. <laughs> Okay, if anybody, uh, as I shared, if anybody uh, wants, uh, I can give a 30 minute session. We can do analysis of where you are placed in your productivity and what can be the way out. Okay, so you can connect with me for that. You can do it in this week itself. Yes, I'll connect to you, Jitendra. Sure. So, with that note, I'm going to call this meeting. <laughs> Officially, officially closed. Alifia, today has so so many things going on. She wants oh my to god, it's so funny. <laughs> but actually, you know, we've, we've been having uh, you know, our, this is the first education session we've done after the time has changed. So earlier our times used to be seven thirty to nine. So at the thick of nine, you know, uh, but this was the first education session. Even the company analysis. Uh, or uh, brainstorming challenges. This session has not been happening in the last uh, few months uh, since we changed the time to 9.30. No worries. Alifa, can you just switch off YouTube? Yes. So with that, uh, meeting ends. <laughs> so bye on YouTube. <laughs> One second, what did I do? One second.